Welcome to World Biz Watch here in Hong Kong. I'm Farlan Chang. This is a special program that celebrates extraordinary people making a profound impact on other people's lives and changing our world for the better. Get ready to meet one American hero and his epic journey from prisoner of war out here in the East in nearby Vietnam to inspirational figure back West in America and beyond. It's a story that shows the power of the human spirit to prevail against all odds. Dave Carey's story has made him one of America's most sought after public speakers for more than 30 years. If you're even thinking about hiring a speaker, you need to watch this story. I was shot down flying a combat mission over North Vietnam on the 31st of August, 1967. A surface air missile took the tail off my airplane. I ejected and landed in the middle of a small North Vietnamese village. I managed to get out a little radio that we carried and talk to the aircraft overhead. And when they answered me, they said, you know, we cannot come and get you. And that started for me what would turn out to be a little longer than five and a half years in prison in North Vietnam. It was lots and lots and lots of time uh, interspersed with moments of pure terror. We were interrogated occasionally, beaten occasionally, uh, tortured on very rare occasion. All of it was done with the attendant uh, shouting and hollering and punching and jabbing and kicking and until they'd have me just crunched up into a ball on the floor feeling like all my joints were coming apart. Dave would never say it, but he is a true American hero, honored with a Legion of Merit, Purple Heart and five bronze stars. And his story has helped tens of thousands of people overcome their own crises whenever they too face the worst of times. His lessons have driven his listeners to become better in business, better in life, and the best they can be. The beatings, torture, and despair that this Navy pilot and his fellow Americans endured fill audience members with compassion, sadness, and pity. But Dave Carey does not allow much of that. He pulls his audience into his world and then pushes them to see that his own story of survival can help all of us survive when we too get shot down in life. The question I most frequently ask is, how do you do that? How were you able to do that? And I got to tell you, in my mind, the answer to that question is very, very simple. How did we do it? We did what we had to do. We did our best. We did it day after day after day after day after day. We chose to grow through that experience. We kept our sense of humor and we kept the faith. Well, I thought I've heard a lot of motivational speakers but uh, he, he really brought a lot, of, brought a lot to the light, basically. Keep your mind working and look forward, try to figure things out rather than just sit there and idle and complain. So that's what I got out of the speech. When you, when you hear a perspective like Dave shared, just what they went through and how they kept a good attitude through the whole thing, it just really kind of puts things in perspective of like, you know what, the things I'm facing right now really aren't that big of a deal. You know, I can have a better attitude towards this thing. One reason Dave Carey drives his listeners, he is a master storyteller. You do not succeed as a motivational speaker for more than 30 years unless you are good. And Dave is one of the best. I loved it. I am so glad I came. His, his story is compelling and he draws you into the story. Uh, it, it, you, can, you can see the scenery, you can, you can participate in the conversations that he had. Uh, you are right there, and yet he keeps drawing it back to the lessons learned and the importance of the choices that we all have to make every day about how we're going to live through adversity or good times. The magic of Dave's story often comes through his sense of humor. People laugh more than they cry, and they usually do both. Dave reveals one great story after another, such as when he taught his men to speak French because their captors were beating them for saying the wrong things in English. And I taught French for years. By the time we came back to the United States, I had six men absolutely fluent in the French language. According to me. <laughs> hey, there are some problems with that language. I had to make some stuff up. The answer is yes, when asked if Dave Carey's story can help you overcome your own hardships. I think it'll make you think of what you face and try to look, frame it in a more positive reference about what you really can do in the midst of whatever it is you're going through. Dave was a leader of men as a naval captain, 
Today, he is a leader by example through his life lessons. He's in high demand as a motivational speaker. Dave is an accomplished author. His book, The Ways We Choose, offers lessons of life from a POW's experience. The title is really the central theme of Dave's message, that we can choose to change our lives for the better, especially when times are tough. Business, civic, and church leaders all over the country hire Dave because his timeless lessons inspire us to be stronger, better, and able to communicate more clearly. Lessons he and other POWs learned while tapping out codes on the dank walls of their cells. I know that if the communications process is not working well where you are, I know who has to fix it. You do. And if you don't fix it, it's not going to get fixed. Today, Dave Keery is one of the most positive, hopeful, and genuine people you will ever meet, and a true American hero whose grace under fire has inspired countless numbers of people to turn the worst of times into the best of times. I mean, everybody has a story. It's, it's kind of like if, if, you, if you ask people to think about their, their lives and their experience, you know, when the doctor said, you know, there's a shadow on this x-ray, that's, that's kind of like the oh my god or moment and everybody has those moments, or they will have. If you haven't had, just stand by, you're gonna have one. So, uh, so how do you deal with that? How do you handle that? Well, in truth, you do what you have to do, you do your best, you keep your sense of humor, you grow, you keep the faith. I mean, what is, there's no other alternative. So it resonates so well with people. It sure does, and his audiences will be the first to tell you that after you hear him speak, you will be forever touched in a profound way able to harness the power of the human spirit to triumph over adversity. For World Biz Watch, I'm Farlan Chang.